Hi guys, this is Kudo and today in this video I will show you how you can call a function during an animation. So let's get into it. So first thing first, you will need to create, uh, let's create an animation. To create an animation, we need the game object. So let's create a cube. So I will create this cube. So reset this position and to this cube I will add it like matter to can see it properly so let's put red material and uh, let's create an animation to create an animation you will need to add uh, animation so let's create an animation and uh, let's create a folder so a new folder let's create animation and in this animation let's call it uh, rotation okay so as you can see when i create an animation with an object who don't have an animator um, they will basically create an animator the anima what is an animator for quick quickly the animator is just like a controller you can control all the animation of your game object so my first um, my first animation called rotation so i will create a simple really really simple uh animation so just put a rotation in one second so let's recall this and let's say okay rotation on z axis 360 and basically i got an, a simple animation here you can see very easy uh just the curve uh i don't like how this yeah here and um both tangent let's put it linear to have a smooth rotation as you can see very smooth anyway so i create my animation so i got the animation of the cube and Let's say at the end of the animation, I want to to the object to be destroyed. So to do that, I will need to create a new script. So I will uh, we call it uh, event animation and open it in Visual Studio. So there is um, the script so i don't need the start and update function so basically um, when you want to add a function during the animation you need to put it a public function let's call it uh, destroy my game object uh, oops i forgot the void so basically in this function for just an easy an easy code so destroy game object that will be fine and um, to be able to call this function in in the animator you need to add the script to the object so the script call event animation and as you can see you got some like pointer here so you can choose a which frame you can see here um, when I advance the cursor I can sh uh, you can see the frame is is going going on so basically when I add this an event you can see in the inspector I can add a function so here my function is destroy my game object so basically at the end of my animation this function destroy my game object will be cool you can call it any way you want it's just it's just an, a simple example i just want to to call it at the end of of my animation you can you can call anything you want just uh, keep in mind um when you when you call the when you create the function the only sort of parameter you can put here it's string you can put int, you can put float, and you can put game object. This is the only uh, parameter you can put to call 
an event in the um, in the animation so let's try it and let's see what's happening so let's press play and if everything is fine you will see my game shake is destroyed so hope you guys enjoy the video if you find it useful just comment below the video and thumb up it will be very nice and i see you guys next time bye bye